This is Austin St. John, Jason, the original Red Ranger. You are watching the Morphin Network. <laughs> Yo, so can't do a thing. Why? I'm in the middle of something. Open the door. I'm in the middle of the show. Leave me alone. It's no, it's not. Anyways. So, I just want you to... What? I told you it was important. Hi. What is it? What, what, is, uh, what, is, what is so important? Okay, number one. I almost fell down the shower. I pulled that thing, and it fell down. So, I need you to put it back up. I'll put it up. And I need you to put the towels back up because I can't... Okay, fine. So okay, okay, okay. You can just text me. Hi, I don't care. I'm in the middle of the show. Give go, 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 go. Shoot. Bye. 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 Here, here, here. There. Wait, no, so no. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. After work. Hot shoot. Good time. Good day, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, well. I guess screw my <laughs> intro. I guess screw my intro. What's up, everyone? Psycho Fox Report the Network. Yeah. Yeah, that happened. Forget, forget the intro. Uh, you know, I'm going to do a whole thing saying, hey, uh, Kent, I secretly like Kingdom Hearts, but don't ever tell Ryan, yada, yada, yada. But I guess that's our intro for today. So, my name is Reckless. Oh, no, not Reckless. My name is Psycho Fox, a.k.a. Leo, well, Leo, Psycho Fox. We got Kent, a.k.a. Quasar Red. What's up? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Good. Um, You know, we're, we're if you are watching this on YouTube, we are just uh shy uh, uh, two days after a stellar TuneCon, I want to first give a big shout out to uh, Mr. Scott Zillner and his partner Lauren for hosting TuneCon. I, we all had a blast. Uh, if you're wondering when is the TuneCon vlog coming up, TuneCon's vlog will be up next week. Um, this week will be the D23 vlog. So and I'm working on that right now. So I will be working on that right after this uh, episode is done. <laughs> and yeah, I just want to say a big shout out to Scott. Big shout out to everyone who went there. Big shout out to people who uh, recognized us and stuff like that. Once again, guys, whenever Morphin Network goes to a convention, whether it's in the California area or hopefully maybe outside, maybe around the you know Central or East Coast areas, um, don't be shy. We don't bite. We love taking pictures with, with everyone. So there you go. We're not going to be like, oh, my name is not Psycho Fox. My name is Leonardo Baratheon III. Sorry, I had to yeah. do it. Go ahead. And also, shout out to Mike and all the people at Ranger Stop. We wish we could have been there. Um, hopefully, we can work something out someday to where all of us can head to Florida. So, anyway, let's talk about Power Rangers now. This episode of Power, this past episode, this past weekend's episode of Power Rangers Beast Morphers of uh, Gorilla Paint. You do a lying is bad episode. I'm sorry, I. I had to throw that in there this is how you do a you know how lying can affect people you know it took them two years and three episodes was it worth it maybe not but they got it done <laughs> um I, i'll say this though way better than last week's episode in my opinion i think this episode don't get me wrong when i first watched it i'm like this is stupid but then as the episode went on i'm like okay this is great yeah. And they're finally doing something with Steel. Like mm -hmm. some not not in the sense where Steel is like, you know, no, no, we all love Steel, but we're talking about what's the next evolution of his story. And we just got it. Yes. All I have to say is good job. Good job, Nickelodeon. Good job, Hasbro. Because well, let's just say it, writing really worked this time. So <laughs> let's get started. We start off at night. For, finally, we have an episode where uh, we start off an episode where it's at night at Grid Battle Force. Even though, if if you guys want to know a really cool technical thing you can do with um with camera work or video editing, if you cannot do a nighttime shot, just dim the background to where it looks like it's dark or where it looks like it's raining. We get to them, and Ravi is like, "Hey Nate, you leaving? Like, yeah, I'm about to head home or whatever. Go to the barracks. Does Nate have a home?" Yeah, that surprises me. Nate has a home to go home to. I, I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Is he? Does he have a home? Does he stay in like a half house, like uh, in the regular show <laughs> on Cartoon <laughs> Network? Does he have an apartment? Does he bunk up with uh someone from Great Battle Force? Maybe does he just sleep in the do the dorms like the Great Battle Force cadets or something? I don't know. It's not the point. 
So he leaves. Robbie's like, yeah, I'm going to uh, try. I'm going to test out some new stuff to the Saber and stuff like that. He's like, okay, cool. Have fun. Ravi throws and just – Ravi pulls uh, – let me see. Ravi decides to pull a Luke Skywalker from The Last Jedi with a sword do this. <laughs> and so he breaks out the paint because in case you didn't – in case – you didn't see Chekhov's gun uh, from the last previous episode where he met the little kid, Joey, uh, Joey from Friends. Robbie likes to paint. He likes to do art. And so he's in, he's in the room where a comatose Zoe and a comatose Blaze are. And once again, I have to say, Ravi, paint me like one of your French Rangers. <laughs> I, I, I cannot... Um... Uh, I'll go on song very well. But. Like, bruh, bruh. It, okay, I will say this right now. I don't know ja- Jazzy actually knows how to draw, but if this is true, if he knows how to draw and now it's all him drawing, yes. I really hope I really hope it's just him drawing the entire time. I really do. Because it would actually look pretty dope. Smash comes in and he's like, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa Ravi, what you doing? Yo, that's actually kind of cool. And he's like, Smash, you should have not seen this. Look, buddy, I'm sorry I had to do this. And so he reboots Smash. He and stuff like that. Now, I don't know. They never specify if Robbie actually knew how to use computers, which bites him in the butt in the next few minutes. Uh, and he reboots uh, Smash. And he's like, hey, what happened? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. Your, your system com, re- we got rewired, so I just turned you back on. He's like, oh, okay. All right, yo, Smash, look, I'm going to go. I got some I got some work to do, so I'll see you later. It's like, okay, cool. Wait a minute. Why do I have the urge to paint now? <laughs> that bit kind of reminded me of in Danny Phantom when one of the bad guys got infected by his dad's DNA. He's like, why do I suddenly have the urge to talk about ghosts? <laughs> Actually, funny story. We talked to Butch Hartman, the creator of Fairy Odd Pants with Danny Phantom on Sunday. I know. It's perfect fitting. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I got a better one. If you ever watched that movie Demolition Man with Sylvester Stallone and Wesley Snipes, mm-hmm. Stallone, when he is brought into 2036, yeah. um, he had the sudden urge to start sewing because part of his uh part of the thing when he got out when he was unfrozen and stuff like that, uh, was he knew how to sew. Mm-hmm. And he gave Sandra Bullock a sweater, and he's like, Yeah, all of a sudden it's like this really bad urge to sew. It was just weird. That's kind of like how Austin Powers was like. You know, who are these people? He's like, the shouting is a temporary side effect of the reek of the unfreezing process. I'm having difficulty controlling the volume of Woo, my voice. <laughs> Smash goes to the park and paints a mural next to the park. And it really looks it looks really good. Um Betty and Ben are like, oh god, why is he out? This is not cool. Okay, we gotta make we gotta cover this up, and we got to let everyone from Great Battle Force know, hey, something's wrong with Smash. So they do the responsible thing doing that, and then try to wash the paint off, but then mm-hmm. they manage to get thrown into the, the water. The water, Yeah. Yeah, that's what I liked about Ben and Betty in this episode. Their antics actually, you know, they're trying they're to help out rather than, yeah. you know, just oh, we need five minutes of doing something silly, you know, <laughs> kind of like Victor Monte. The... What? Like yeah, Victor Monte. Kind of like back in the first episode. Anyway, so the ranger, so um, suddenly a turbine mon- giga drone shows up and like um, right when, oh wait, no, the ranger showed up first, then the drone monster, then Blaze and Roxy up here and you know, a fight breaks out and the dr- and the, and the turbine monster, you know, tries to steal, gr- tries to take um, Smash, but then Devin and Ravi interfere and stop him, and then, you know, Ravi, you know, gets them to, Ravi takes Smash to hide so they can wait for transport, you know, because, you know, they can't teleport. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> this is, I think this, this is going to be the one thing that annoys the hell out of me this entire season, is because you are, you are a government-funded organization to protect the Morphin Gray and protect the universe. Mm-hmm. So... Who in R and D forgot to make the teleporters be have the ability to teleport inanimate objects out of the field? You have the ability to teleport objects, but you don't have the ability to teleport the rangers. <laughs> oh, the ranger part I have no problem with. I, but I, I like if you were to tell me that in, they can only teleport inanimate objects out of the field, 
That's fine. I have no problem. Dude, Devin has the abilities of a, of a speedster. He can get If he can't get out of a sticky situation, then there's a problem. So uh, Smash manages, you know, to, like the monster's like, oh, he's like, that's not all I can do. And he starts, you know, trying to suck them in. And, you know, Robbie's like, oh, my gosh, he can suck, too. And I don't have a golden girl. <laughs> <laughs> again, again. <laughs> Who in Hasbro was able to throw out all these adult jokes? So this is way too funny at this point. We've gotten so many jokes about this now. What? This blows, you blow too. Um uh what what else? The white powder. Well, the white powder. Uh as a child, you don't know what the heck they're talking about. Like- but as an adult, you do. And oh, oh speaking no. of right. Lee, I heard that you love Kingdom Hearts secretly. Aww. No, it was supposed to be a joke, but obviously you saw what happened to the intro. Anyways, so they get so the the turbine monster gets destroyed. However, because Devin uses cheated DNA around him, he was uh Blaze was able to get the final piece to the cheat to the uh Beast Bot DNA, Beast Morpher DNA. Actually, I thought they got that last week. No, they didn't. Remember, um, they cr- Roxy tried, but it cracked when um, Devin was like, I will never be evil type of that crap that, that we don't talk about. But okay. so, so we go back to the cyber dimension and we finally meet the instrument bar, um, a bad guy that's been built up throughout the season. Kind of. Now, a lot of people. I've heard online said Var- they thought Vargoyle was going to be like this Neo version of Goldar, but that turns out not to be the case. What he really is is more of a Hydro Hawk thing, where, from what I've been told in Go Busters, he was a standard monster of the week, but in Power Rangers, they made him a little more important. So, Vargoyle is supposedly was Scrozzle's first. Um, He's basically a Zeltrax of the season now. Yeah. Oh, maybe he'll come back. Damn it. Okay. Maybe he'll come back as a uh, Neo Zeltrax for next year's team up. Anyway, um, so what? So um, you know, he came to get the fury cells, but they've been all used up. And Scrolls is like, those two wasted them. And Blaze and Roxy are just like, who's this? And um, you know, Mark challenges them, and then and then they get. And you know, she, he gives them one punch to the stomach, and they're just like, "Ooh, I'm getting out of here!" You know, because like, hold up, what, were you, did you say one punch? <clears throat> yeah, they both give one punch to the stomach. One punch! So can right. we make you bald now from now on? What's up? So we, let's make him bald, guys. Let's make a vote. <laughs> what? We need more bald villains anyway. Hey, box, you know, come. And he's like, I will do the here or the you know the dismantling around here. And like uh Scrawls explains the situation and he's like, yeah, power, power up. And um Blaze and Roxy are actually kind of ticked about this because so Blaze and Roxy, you know, they are like, You promised us that power up. He goes, No, I promised it to my strongest warrior, and it's neither of you. And I'm just it's like, Wow, that was pretty harsh. And we Because you both suck. Hey, yes. you, both, you both suck. So. No, real talk, real talk. Blaze and Roxy, and I think they're doing it on purpose, and, and which we'll see later on. Especially when we talk about Roxy, pretend that to pretend that you're gonna lose the uh, Fury Cell. In other words, just do what you usually do and f up, <laughs> but do it on purpose this time. We get back to Grid Battle Force. Nate is looking through um uh, uh, Smash. His you know protocol like what's going on. Like something's up with his thing. That and I'm sorry. Why is Smash all of a sudden trying to paint? And Robbie's mom was like, I don't know. Painting is such a useless thing. It's a useless tool. And anyone who who does paint or has any freedom of free time or any freedom of will should probably get kicked out of Great Battle Force. Keep that in mind because something might happen in the next episode. I don't know. And so <laughs> eh. freaking so Nate goes through um smashes um um data entry and stuff and he's like yo someone must have met- tinkered with it because his files are corrupted so essentially and it's like what do you mean well essentially someone 
re- try to reboot on uh, Smash's um reboot Smash uh, reboot Smash's on uh, uh, power and the process corrupted some things in them and as you can see this is trojan horse to this website that tells you that you can win a hundred dollars and a free xbox 360 you just need to put your date of birth and your mom's credit card number and everything like that if anyone if anyone knows back in the day if anyone fell for that i I'm, I, I understand i i never fell for it but i, I feel for y'all mm-hmm. and so next thing you know robbie's like okay yo guys look I may have accidentally turned off Smash, turned it back on, and gave him malware and a Trojan horse. I'm sorry. He's like, wait, why? He's like, Smash saw something that he should have not seen. Did you murder someone? No. God, no. Here. He shows him the, he shows him the drawing of his French girl, Roxy. <laughs> <laughs> And so they're like, whoa, Robbie, you drew this? Like, yeah. It's like, dude, this is kind of cool. Why, why didn't you tell us about it? It's like, because my mom thinks that it's a useless talent and she probably would fire me. Like, again, if we're doing Chekhov's gun, this might be coming back up soon. I don't know because I, I have not watched the shows ahead of time. But hopefully it does come back where Robbie's mom is like, you've been doing all this useless stuff. You're fired. I must have on Smash because he saw it and he must have figured it out. And now he started painting after seeing me. And they're like, okay, look, we ain't going to tell your mama. Nate's going to stay here. He's going to work on Smash. And we got we got a call. In sector. Did they did, – Please, I don't remember, but did they say Sector Bravo, Zeta, Delta? Yes. God, <laughs> dang it. But it wasn't as annoying, I don't think, as – Sector other. Bravo, six to five. <laughs> Syria Hotel. Uh, we we got problems in Sector Syria Hotel Delta. No, Syria Hotel Indigo Echo Delta Shield. There you go. Um, and so they yeah, go. Echo Bravo Delta Minor Caco Pika Chica. Whatever. So they get there, and that's when they meet um uh Vargoyle. Vargoyle is, is pretending to be like some helpless uh, uh Giga Drones. Like, no, I don't want to hurt you, but I will. On a minor side note, that reminded me of um, this issue from Necessary Evil. You know, Vargo's kind of just playing with the Rangers. I have not read it. Am I, am I listening? Okay. <laughs> Vargo's just kind of I'll mute myself. Go ahead. Making them say, oh, I'm so weak and defenseless, Frog. <laughs> but um, that's I'm not going to explain what exactly he does. So Okay. <laughs> cool. And so they start to the, fight. So... Uh, Steel, Devin, Robbie, and Zoe fight uh, Vargoyle. Vargoyle, again, being helpless. Next thing you know, a Giga Drone is sent to fight, uh, to try to destroy one, uh, to absorb the Morphex in one of the towers. So Devin decides, I will go, you guys handle uh, Vargoyle. And this is the type of Giga Drone where it actually, being airborne is the is how they're going to be able to beat the Rangers. Because the Giga Drone was able to take out Devin by having him try to jump and he couldn't make it. He then hit um, Zoe and her uh, Megazord with a wind tunnel like it was homeboy for Inuyasha. And next, you know, after they were able, after um, after Ravi and uh, Steel were able to were able to capture Vargoyle, um, Smash is able to, is back online. Nick's like, real quick, can you paint something? He's like, I don't know how to paint. What are you talking about? Okay, go. Hey guys, uh, he's got he's back to normal. So Robbie goes and helps out um Devin. Well, that's going on. And and they beat the Giga Drone. But that's not the important part. The important part's what happens next. Steel is like, all right, man, you're like, let's like what's what's going on? Tell me where um Evox is. He's like, oh, your friends are gone? Good. Bip! Let's fight. Let's you're gonna run this fade. Vargoyle beats the brakes off Steel so much so he beats him until he demorphs Mm -hmm. and is going to destroy him until Nate saves the day. And he's like, yeah, but bro, he's like, it's fine. I already got what I needed and teleports away. Yeah, that was cool. I already like Vargoyle more than Homeboy from uh, Ninja Steel. What was, what was the guy's uh, name in Ninja Steel, um, Ryan? The one who was supposed to be the uh, uber badass but then dies? Brax. Yeah, Brax. Fra- Brax. Wait, wait for it, though. But anyway. 
<laughs> yeah, so already Vargoyle is a better character than Brax was because Brax, which was supposed to be this uber badass that we were being told so much about, gets killed in like just like that. And I'm like, trash. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna also, he reminds me of um, of uh, Lord Arcanon from Dino Charge. You know, he was set up to be, oh, I'm super powerful. I'm the one monster, the main villain of the show, feared the most. Spoiler, Ryan. Spoiler, Leonard. Uh, like roughly a few episodes later, boom, gone, dead. And- I-, I think. I think for this, for g- going forward, every time if Nickelodeon makes another character, just another bad guy, just be like this. Okay, go All right, go ahead. If if Nickelodeon decides to make another u- quote unquote uber badass character in Power Rangers. And every time he dies after the after the next two episodes, we should just have the wasted off from Grand Theft Auto show up like wasted. Yes. Legendary battle episode wasted. No, no. no again, again. Show, just because I don't like the show does not mean I don't like the actors. Actors are great. Love you guys, especially you, Azim. Dino Supercharge wasted. Super Ninja Steel wasted. Mm-hmm. Not as much, but anyway. Yes. Yes. They got rid of the, one of the most important scenes ever, Calvin yeah. and Haley kissing. Just mm-hmm. saying. So then they meet back at the park. Um, you know, they finish cleaning up Steel Smash's, you know, paintings, his art, and um, and um, Blit, and like they say, um, Smash reveals that he knew about Nate Robbie's painting for quite a while, and like um. He said that he won't tell his, he hasn't told his mom, and he won't, and he's like, man, I feel bad, you know, that I wiped your memory. He's like, that's okay, and he says, your mom loves you, maybe someday you can finally tell him, and you know, that's kind of cool, you know, they don't actually have to tell the commander, you know, what, although I do wonder how exactly they explained how his memory got erased, but, to her, but, you know, it's kind of cool that they don't actually resolve this in this episode, similar to how with um, Megan, um, they didn't really Megan. resolve, they didn't really uh, answer Nate's um, and Zoe's love story episode yet. So, that's cool. There's This is probably setting up, you know, an event that'll happen next season as well. So. I was, in other words, Smash is like, hey, like, hey, man, look, I'm sorry, wipe your memories. No, nah, it's cool, dog. Look, man, I already knew that you was painting. Okay, I find it kind of creepy that you was painting your, your, a comatose ex girlfriend. But <laughs> it, hey, man, I don't judge. You know, you you do you. I'm gonna do me, right? I'm a I'm a robot. I can't really do me because I need commands. But that's a different story. Um, but yeah, man, look, I got I ain't no snitch. I got you. Okay, your mama loves you. And maybe one day you'll snitch on yourself and tell her the, the deal. Also, you probably need to tell her about the white power substance that came from those trumpets because we still don't know what the hell that is. Because I know for sure it ain't dust. You, you right. You right, Smash. You right. Here, come. Dap. It's like, wait, you've never hugged me before. Yeah, I know. But don't get it twisted. This is, everyone gets one. <laughs> Well, can I think this episode was good. I really liked it. But can I want to let you? I'm gonna give you the floor. Likes this, likes to go give your overall rating. Go ahead. I actually really enjoyed this episode. I think it might be. Uh, I I don't know if I've said this before. This might be my favorite episode so far. Um, you said a lot. You said a few, quite a few times during Beast Morpher. So, and a little during Reeve Soldier. Um, I will say I really enjoyed this episode quite a bit because. You know, it didn't feel like there was any cheesy moments, um, and I really and I loved how, you know, Robbie not you know erasing Smash's memory just kind of kept escalating. Like, you know, now Smash is out in the field painting, and then now, um, and now because of his memory erasing, he now can't use the Wheeler Sword. And I'm just like, wow, that really escalated. And like I said, this is how you do a lying is bad story. You know, not what they did a few episodes ago, which, you know, don't get me started on that. But anyway, and you interrupted my big moment. 10 out of 10. What? What? Wow. Okay. Wow. I, I this disagree is... with you. I mean, now, it's okay. How many episodes has been now that you've given 10s? 
just this did. one. This, okay. This this one isn't. Oh yeah, the other one was um the other episode Nate. was when no, yeah when uh Nate and Zoe finally hooked up. So yeah, uh I'll go with my dislikes real quick. Couple of my dislikes. Wait, uh, they're not really minor. Um, I I kind of I I kind of low key wish that. It wasn't about Ravi lying, but at the same time, it's good to see that these lies damn near got him in trouble. You're good, Ryan. Um, um, also, no repercussions about what happened to um Devin's battleizer. Kind of hope, hopefully, they go into detail about that in the next episode. I want to know now that he doesn't have the fury cell, can he still use his battleizer? So, uh, um, that's week. <laughs> Yeah, so hopefully, and so, and again, in future episodes, hopefully they resolve that. Uh, my likes about the episode, um, I really liked the dynamic of Smash and Robbie, and we, we're finally getting a little, Robbie's finally opening up a little bit more, and I was, for and for what it's worth, I think this was some of the best acting that Robbie's actor has done, and because I, because I, I think it, he just wasn't given the, 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 you know, the, the great script just, not just yet. And he finally got, and I'm like, okay, I like this. And for what it's worth for Nickelodeon and Hasbro, this is actually pretty good. This is good. They, go overall, good storytelling. And again, a lie getting worse and worse. This deal is getting worse all the time. Um, but the but but the highlight of the episode, honestly, is Vargoyle showing up, pretending to be a a, 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 a softy, and then commits to whooping on uh, Steel and almost had him dead to rights. So, uh, and I'll, I'll give my score afterwards. Ryan, go ahead. Likes and dislikes and score. Go ahead. My likes was this episode was a really well focused Robbie episode. I mean, and like I thought it was gonna be when I first saw the title, I was like, uh, another filler. But I'm like, Same. I'm like, well, wait, it's actually good. My only problems with is this that the pacing is a little bit off a bit, but it's okay. Story was good. I liked it. Uh, Robbie was ri- okay. Robbie is becoming now my s- not. He's getting into me. I used to didn't like, him, but now he's becoming. His acting is getting better. Yeah, and I'm, he's, I li- and I and I like him as a as a uh, ranger now. There's some cringeworthy moments a bit, like uh, he like, sucks too. <laughs> yeah. See? I um, love that. I love that. But again, Vargol was a highlight of this episode. Mm-hmm. Vargol, I thought uh, it's just a normal, uh, you know, boring villain, but no, he actually impressed me, and he was actually threatening. Uh, I would, ra- I would have gave it a ten, but there were some little nitpicks here that kind of wrote it down. But my score will be a nine point five out of ten. Okay. Yeah, um... nine point five. Okay, cool. I, I, I will. I, I hopefully I don't get. Hopefully I don't get beat up. I gave this episode an eight out of ten. I, it's a good episode. No, don't get me. Don't get it twisted. I think it's a good one. Uh, I, I like you, Ryan. I thought we we're getting another filler, and there again, you said there were cringeworthy moments, but I overall I think the highlight is Vargoyle. Like, our, like it would have been a nine for me, but the I, I, I again my my grading scale is a little different. But this is this is a solid. Actually, no, this is a high, a high 8 out of 10, a super high, like damn near close to 9. So uh, it's good to see that Var- – oh, we forgot to mention, Vargol does get the power up. So he is now – he now has the abilities of all the Rangers. And he can't – but he can't use it for too long or he might kill, destroy himself or something like that. Or it will run out of Morphax energy. Oh, yeah. So he has to make sure – he's on a timer. He. Pretty much, where you would beat the hell out of the Rangers, but make sure you you, you know you get back here because we don't have to. We don't too much more effects. You got pay. We got pay this more effects bills, man. Question, by the way, what do you think of Vargoyle's um, dreads? His hair. <laughs> really, <laughs> really? Yeah, You're gonna ask about the dreads? Um, oh, yeah. thought it was cool. I mean, he's no Cyrax from Mortal Kombat, but. <laughs> No, but on the real, no, I, I have no problem with it. I think they're, I think they're fine. I think they're fine. Actually, you know what's really funny? You know what his voice reminded me of? What? Do you remember the bad guy from Power Rangers Time Force, the episode where Eric becomes a Quantum Ranger? Oh yeah, Brickneck. Brickneck. He sounded like Brickneck. Say it's time 
for comment section. So, YouTube, if you're out there, how you guys doing? This, thank you for watching this episode of our review of Ranger Podcast Live for Power Rangers Beast Morphers episode Gorilla Paint. Is that what it's called? Gorilla Paint? Gorilla, yeah. Yeah, Gorilla Paint. Gorilla, and, gorilla and, Art, Gorilla Art. Gorilla Art. There you go. And if you like this episode, if you like this episode and you like this video, be sure to like, share, <clears throat> Comment and subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification button because, once again, YouTube's algorithm has been infected by Evox, and they like messing everyone up. So with that being said, let's read these Facebook comments. Go ahead. Monty says hello. What's up, Monty? Hey. Neil Johnson says Neil. yo. Yo, what's up, man? Neil! What's up, Neil? Monty says, how has real love the adult show the jokes? Exactly. You see, this is how you do adult jokes. You know what? Hold up. You know what the adult jokes remind me of? Remember the episode of SpongeBob where uh, he's trying to get Gary a badge? He's like, "Oh look, balloons! Don't drop them." It was the bars of soap. He's like, "Don't drop them." I'm like, "Wow, did they really just make that joke?" Okay, okay, I'm gonna ignore it. But okay. Monty uh, says, "What psycho likes what?" Oh yeah, he likes Kingdom Hearts now. We did it. No, I don't. We did it, Monty. Look. We did it. We did it. I fell, it. I fell he asleep. I fell asleep twice playing this game, and one of them is when we get the Frozen. Um, I will be playing this game again. That. I can promise you that it gets better after Frozen. I'll, I'm playing the game again, uh, hopefully this weekend. So that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, Kent, where can I find you? Find me on Brand Brown slash K on Instagram as well as my regular Facebook page. Psycho, where can I find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at the Reckless underscore Fox. You can find me on my YouTube page, Reckless underscore Fox, <clears throat> where I put up videos and I actually do live streams now on there. So go figure. And you can find me on my home base, twitch.tv slash Reckless Fox. If you want a little more, uh, want a little more content, myself and Jen do a, another podcast, the Scrocco Gaming Podcast. You can find us on soundcloud.com slash Scrocco Gaming. And uh, yeah, new episode of Scrocco Gaming Podcast should be up live this weekend. And Ryan, where can I find you? Instagram, that's 4247. And please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, Morphin Network or Morphin Net. I'm just going to watch the rest of the episodes. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I might as well. I mean, I already did like three months ago. Wait, two months Try ago. Try and go by the honor code, dang it. Honor code. There is no honor. Yeah. There is, yeah, you're right. There's no honor. We have the internet. And the internet uh, now puts up all the episodes. So there you I mean, go. if there was honor, Disney Plus would be free. Look, once again, can you stop flexing that people that you have Disney Plus? Some of us do not have, we cannot afford Disney Plus. Some of us might have to, you know, borrow people's accounts and stuff. I'm just saying. Okay? Really? God. Really? Really, really. Oh, so let's look at the prices of Disney Plus right now. Uh, this okay. is this is another episode of Ranger Podcast Live, guys. <laughs> Thank you very night. much. We will and we will see y'all next week. Until then, bye and goodbye and good night. Peace, guys. Bye bye. So love, farewell. I bid you all. Oh, the Sunday music is also here too. God dang it! Sunday music is here. I'm serious. Sunday music is here. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm joining AEW.